I'm going to teach Cripple Creek. This is a great tune for starting out because it has like one of everything. It has basic bum ditty, it has a drop thumb ditty, hammer on, a pull off, a slide. I'm going to show you how to do all of those things in this video. So, we're tuned in G. So, this fifth string, the short string, is G. There's a D. Your third string is also a G. B. D. Okay, you're also going to need to know how to make two different chords to play this. Well, three, but there's the first one. That's your one chord. That's a G. Then you'll need a C chord, and it's also called your four chord. So put your ring finger on the first string at the second fret, your index finger on the second string at the first fret, and your middle finger on the fourth string at the second fret. You're skipping the third string. That's just ringing open. And there's a G. So practice making those a few times on off. And then you also need a five chord of some sort. We're gonna use a D7 here. So your index finger, once again, is at the second string, first fret. And then you'll put your middle finger on the third string, second fret. Okay, that's what we're gonna use here. Okay. Also, you should have uh, looked at gone through the first three, the basic bum ditty one and so forth. So I'm going to just a quick review of that. Uh, it's going to be, you're going to hit the strings with the back of your fingernails with your hand kind of going toward the string, partly up and partly just toward. So kind of at an angle toward. And when you hit a string, your thumb's going to come down and, and touch the fifth string. It hasn't played it yet. That's what it sounds like if you play it. So we're gonna go bum, and then come down and do another bum, like that. So it's bum, diddy, bum, diddy, bum, diddy, bum, diddy, bum, diddy. And the emphasis on, is on that first bum. things that we're going to do that involve uh, a, um, a hammer on, a pull off, a slide, a drop thumb, those are all ways of putting a note in between this part of the bum ditty and this part of the bum ditty. So instead of one, two, and three, four, and, it, it would be something that you're, so you could go one, and two, and or one and two and, or one and two and, or one, one, one and two and. So it's a way of putting something in between the bum and the ditty. So it's like bum and ditty, bum and ditty. So I will use words like drop thumb ditty, hammer on ditty, uh, ditty being so bum ditty is bum ditty, all right? Now, uh, let's see, what else? No, we'll just start the play. Uh, I'm gonna play the tune and just uh, don't get scared. It's really, it's gonna all be broken down and taught a little tiny bit at a time, but here's what you're gonna end up with.
So we're starting off with, remember the basic bum ditty is but what we're gonna do is have our finger at the fifth fret on the first string and your thumb should come over, I should, I, wish I should be able to see it, it shouldn't be hiding back here pressing against the back of this at this point anyway. There's a couple chords later on that you'll wanna do that, but not these. These, you should be able to see the thumb peeking over the top. So that basic bum ditty, if you have your finger put uh, holding down this note, which is a G note, it's gonna sound like this if you play the basic bum ditty with this hand. Notice they're all Gs, okay? Bum ditty. Then you're gonna, so th that's what the, the very first notes are. The next thing is to take this off. You won't need this hand at all, actually. Just leave it hanging out. You're gonna do a drop thumb ditty. Now, a drop thumb, the motion is the same as bum ditty, except instead of coming down on and playing this string and having your thumb land on the fifth string, you're gonna you're gonna play it, and as you play it, you're moving your hand as a unit. Your thumb comes to rest on a different string. Then it pulls off that string, and then it, you do a ditty. So it's sorry. this is to is to make sure your see now that note that you're hearing is not what I'm being played with my thumb it's being played with this finger but my thumb is already there in place ready to go we pull it off and then we play the ditty okay okay so that was bum ditty drop bum ditty those are your first notes of the tune Next, we're gonna pull out our C chord. Remember? Bum, 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 bum. Okay, and with two separate bounces of our hand, it's like, think of it as two bums. Bum, bum, with no ditty. And then take it off and go, bum, ditty. Once again, that's bounce on the second string, bounce on the first string, and then bum, ditty on the first string. So what you have so far is Okay. Moving on, we're going to play a slide. So each of these things is going to we're going to do a slide, a pull off and a hammer on, and each of those things is followed by a ditty. Okay? Remember that that is a ditty. So the slide is gonna be played in the most usual place for slides in this key, in this tuning, which is gonna be on the third string. You're gonna put, I like to use my ring finger. Put your ring finger on the third string, second fret, and you're gonna play that third string and then move your hand up and then ditty. So what it sounds like is, oops, sorry. The main mistake I see people starting out doing is to go try to slide, like think suddenly you have you have to like slide it really fast somehow. No, you you hit the note and then you bring it up. You hit the note with this hand and then your left hand comes up and then this hand goes does the ditty. So it's right hand, left hand, right hand, right thumb. Okay. Okay. So slide and ditty. Now we're gonna do a pull off in the same place where you started the slide. So that's the third string, second fret. So we're gonna hit that and pull off. Now I like to do my pull offs going down. Some people do them this way, but I prefer to go down this way. And you can just try that. Just It's basically like plucking the string with your, with your left hand. So you, you put it down, you play the string, and then you pull it off. And then ditty. So with the slide ditty and the pull off ditty, it sounds like this. So that's the reason why I like to use this finger, because now it's up here. Ditty. And now I just have to kind of rock to get my index finger on the action. Okay? And then the next thing is a hammer on. Hammer on. 
So a hammer-on is a percussive movement of your left hand. We're going to do it on the fourth string at the second fret. And practice that a little bit, seeing if you can make that banjo note sound. If you hit right on top of the fret, it's not going to make much sound. If you hit way back here, it's not going to be that good. You want to be right behind the fret and have your finger come down. If you're, you're not going to be able to come down with the flat of your finger like that and, and make a good, make a good, make a good sound. It's got to come down like a hammer. Boom. But we're going to make it sound even more by hitting it and then hammering it down. One and two and ha hammer on diddy. Okay, hammer on diddy. And then we're going to end up this, this part with a, we're going to resolve, we're going to go back to that G note, which is the third string. Bum diddy, bum diddy is what we're going to end up with. It's a bum diddy where the first note you're hitting is the third string. You can also go it's kind of a strum as your ditty. So that second half of there, starting with the with the slide, is gonna be slide and ditty, pull off ditty, hammer on ditty, bum ditty. Okay, so here's the whole first part of the tune. Drop thumb, C chord bounce. First string open, diddy, slide and diddy, pull off diddy, hammer on diddy, open third string, diddy, and then you play that again. Once you played that twice, you're ready to move on to the B part. Now, there's not as much new stuff to learn with the B part because there's a lot of parts of the B that are made up of parts of the A. So it starts with the slide, in fact. Same place that we did it before. Starting there, ring finger, third string, second fret. We're going to go slide up, diddy, pull off, diddy. Okay, that's the first part. That should sound kind of familiar. Then we're going to slide again. Slide up, diddy, and then a bum, diddy. That's up on the first string, just a plain bum, diddy. So again, slide up, diddy, pull off, diddy. Slide up, diddy, bum, diddy. Okay, that's the first half. And then continuing on, slide up, diddy, pull off, diddy. ends exactly like the end of the B part, I mean of the A part, okay? When I say A and B, I mean the first half and the second half. That's how we, that's how we, that's what we call them, the A part, the B part. Some tunes have three parts, it's the A part, B part, and C part, and so forth. So I'm going to play this a, a time or two um, very slowly, and you should attempt to play along with me and um, stay in time with me. What's going to happen though is you're going to not be thinking ahead enough to the next part. So that's where you want to get to is uh, enough comfort with each of the sections that you're actually thinking ahead to what, what's going to happen next and you're getting ready so you can stay in time. Okay, ready and Slide and diddy, pull off diddy, slide and diddy, first string, diddy, slide and diddy, pull off diddy, hammer on diddy, bum diddy, again, slide and diddy, pull off diddy, slide and diddy, bum diddy, 